Ah, my shoulders won't fit. Good friend Les from Papa's Place. It's building some some uh, plywood nukes. If you're in the vicinity of Poplarville, Mississippi, this is what we got for what do you sell them for? Twenty-five. What's the best way to contact you? <laughs> <laughs> My email is les underscore h o c h r i n e at yahoo.com. But it's a five frame deep nuke. Four ply plywood, half inch. And I got a little lock them up. Great, great for storm traps or doing splits. Welcome back to the 628 Dirt Rooster channel where hobby beekeeping is a way of life. You remember that first one we did? The heart shape? <laughs> like it was yesterday. <laughs> you were a fresh faced young kid looking for adventure. <laughs> None of this. No bee catchers on my face. That was way back in 2018. Feels like just last year. <laughs> Doesn't it? <laughs> you remember the second one we did? That was the same apartment complex, two buildings over. Was it? Mm -hmm. I was thinking the second one was that one that poisoned and it was running down through the ceiling. No, no, that that was late in the season. And that was the one that was like bleeding down with Honey Lake, like the Carry movie. <laughs> okay. Doing a little pre-cut condition video. So rock on, Pete. <laughs> Same ceiling as that one I pulled out last week, and it's the same ceiling as those, as those next five we got. They're good, they're easy then. Yeah, it's uh, it's got cap brood in it, and it's really big, so probably a month. Pretty dang good size. Yeah, they came down and fluttered around your head for about five seconds and everybody went to the window. Oh, they, they bought me in the chin and the arm. They really thought the word me. I'll put the hood on. That's some, uh, 16 inch deep combs, did you say? 16 inch high? Yeah, easy. Easy, yeah, some of them are probably 18 to 20. I know it don't look that, from down here, because you see in the peak in the foreground makes the hive look smaller, but it's really a, a really pretty big hive. Pete, are you going in the attic? Pretty much. <laughs> Kind of up and uh -oh. personal with them. Got a big piece laying right there on the edge of the wall. I'm holding the plastic over to keep it from dripping. I see it. You good? Oh yeah. It's just getting to the point where you're not gonna drop it in the bucket anymore. I got you in case you lose your balance. So I don't want to damage the vac. <laughs> <laughs> Appreciate it. You will. It's important. I understand. You're welcome. <laughs> Here yeah, it comes to fun because I can't get it to drop in the bucket no more. Uh oh. This is where it's gonna get personal. And I know they don't like personal. Mm. Not getting stung, I hope. Not yet. Ooh, it is heavy. That one's full full. When you, when you grab around the back of that comb. I slide my finger up and then I let the finger do, do, do this. Do this. Oh, uh, see, I let the finger slide, and then I don't grab the comb. Yeah. If I get anything Wig, wiggle your fingers up the comb, and they'll move. And they'll hopefully move? They, no, they will move. You, you just slowly wiggle your fingers up the back of the comb. Dude, 
<laughs> yeah, I mean, it's it's about that thick and it's heavy. <laughs> this is, yeah, it's fixing to fold over on you. That's why I'm letting my hand slide up with it. You, this is the first time that I've ever had anybody on the first time for a removal. Really? Bare hand. Bare hand with no protection and not freak out. I ain't scared of you either. <laughs> <laughs> now nah, I know something's wrong with you. <laughs> I never said there was anything right to start with. <laughs> you good? We need to back Oh, up. you son of a bugger. You got me. Uh, I put my arm on him. It's a, it may be the watch. Hmm, I think another one just got me. How were they getting all up in there? Because as I cut it out, I just dropped them in there with them. They were coming through the, the spider? Oh, yeah. Yeah, right underneath the balcony area. Oh, yeah, look at that. Scared of them? They can't fly, they're oh, so wow. coated with honey. They can't even do nothing right now. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's some that's some good honey. There you go. Got one back here, he's pinned to the knife. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Mm. Yeah, he ain't going nowhere. He literally he's pinned to the blade. <laughs> <laughs> that's about as good honey. Yeah, that's cap coming up here. I'm going to take a quick minute and show you how to light a smoker. It's something that I feel like probably most of you know, but we got a lot of new beekeepers this year. And unless somebody shows you how to properly light a smoker, it can get kind of aggravating. Especially brand new beekeepers will abandon their smoker because they can't keep it lit. I'm fixing to show you some tricks. Well, not really tricks, but just how to light a smoker. All right, first thing, biggest mistake. I see most people make is they stuff their smoker and they light it from the top just like that. That don't work. You want to bring that thing all the way down to empty. Dump everything out of it. Starting out with an empty smoker. We're going to take a little bit of pine straw or burlap or cotton or whatever you got that you're using in your smoker and get that going. And you might have to puff it while you Ease it down in there. Get your fire going. Don't be afraid of it flaming up because that's what you want. You want it real good and hot. Once you get that fire going and it's pretty solid on your material, you can start adding material a little bit at a time to it. You can add sticks. pine cones and leaves. You can see I already had a pine cone in this one. Now, as you stuff your smoker, you're puffing it the whole time because otherwise you can suffocate it. And that's the trick, really. That's it. You just you get your base fire going, the fire's got to be on the bottom. It can't be on the top. But once you get that base fire going strong, you can stuff it, pack it good and tight. And I literally pack my smoker so hard that I have to lean on it to get the lid shut. Now I want to make sure I'm smoking as I'm packing, so I'm not putting it out. But the more dense you pack it, as long as you can keep it going, it'll stay lit for a long, long time. And if you're not, if you're not puffing it non-stop, it'll stay burning for hours. So you can set it on your box. And when you need your smoker and you turn around and grab it and puff it, 
it'll be there for you. You don't have to go, ah, oh, man, my smoker went out. And you flip the lid and start, over, start all over again. You see how tight that's packed right there? This right here. If I left that alone, it would probably smoke for four or five hours or better. And that's how you light a smoke. Now let me show you how to put it out to save your material. This smoker's been going for a little while now, but it's still got a lot of good material in it. And you can't always find dry pine straw or dry whatever laid on the ground. So if you will stuff your nose of your smoker with a paper towel or anything, lay it on the side it kills the draft going through there and it just lets it lay there and suffocate some people have a cork on a chain tied to their lid some people use a stick anything anything to to block the flow of air uh, my dad likes to put a a rag or something up in front of the bottom as well but even if you just lay them on their side most of the time they'll go out but if you if it's in the back of your truck or something you definitely want to plug it up because when you get going down the road it'll start Really kicking smoke up. Randy's been showing you how to how to light your smoker. One other secret that's good to, to, to do, that is real soft and fluffy. If you feel of it, you can see it, it is. If you take, see there? You know, okay. you're right. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> but if you take your pine straw when you rake it up, Two things you can do, you can lay it out on the road and let the cars run over it and they will chew it up and make it real soft. It's much easier to light and it burns better. Another thing you can do is- and It's easier to pack. It's easier to pack also. Another thing you can do is run over it with your lawnmower a couple of times and chew it up a little bit. That also makes it do the same thing. It's softer, easier to light and easier to pack too. And it does, it's not near as rough on your hands. But just another little secret from 628 Dirt Rooster. Don't throw it back in the yard, your wife will fuss at you. And add striped ones in there. But most of them were all like caramel colored ones that were, and they got in a suit with me. They were flying around my head inside the mask, inside the screen. Oh yeah, it was a nice day. <laughs> mm -hmm.